If you have some moronic, insane, fringe, moral, and political views, you're probably not going to win widespread support for your position, unless you can hijack someone else's position and attach it to your moronic, insane, fringe, moral, and political views. This is what happened with Black Lives Matter. Members of African American Council are booed as they tell protesters in Seattle's Autonomous Zone that they've hijacked the Black Lives Matter movement by pushing other causes like higher taxes for Amazon. Lawrence Fox says Black Lives Matter has been hijacked by cynical left wing. Black Lives Matter protests hijacked by extremists intent on violence, Boris Johnson claims. Black Lives Matter hijacked by anti-Semitism. Hard left hijacks Black Lives Matter movement. Major brands are turning away from Black Lives Matter as group gets hijacked by radical causes. Black Lives Matter protests hijacked by politically driven left wing agendas. Amid chaos, some black activists say the message has been hijacked. Crooks hijack Black Lives Matter to spread zombie malware. Black Lives Matter protest canceled because of far right hijack. Is there anyone who hasn't hijacked Black Lives Matter? Now, plenty of people have commented on the distinction between the statement Black Lives Matter, which everyone agrees with, and the political movement Black Lives Matter, which, when their views are made clear, practically no one agrees with. I'm not going to discuss this distinction much here because I'm more interested in the form of manipulation that's being used happens all the time. If you see a commercial with a beautiful woman eating a burger from some restaurant and all of a sudden you want to try that burger, you been had. A beautiful woman being paid piles of money to eat a burger for a commercial has nothing to do with whether that burger is better than any other burger. But advertisers know that if they can connect this thing that you haven't tried with this other thing that you definitely like, you're more likely to try the thing. The result is that things you haven't tried are constantly being associated with things you like. All the things are constantly being connected to all the other things. Now, that's usually harmless enough. But what happens when something you really like is connected to something you would otherwise absolutely despise? Even more, what happens when something that no one is going to object to is connected to something that almost everyone would otherwise object to? No one in recent history has done this more successfully than the political movement Black Lives Matter. So, let's see how they do it since that will help us avoid being manipulated when other people use the same tactic. Here's how it works. Excuse me, sir, but I have a simple question for you. All I need is a quick yes or no. Do you agree that capitalism must be annihilated and replaced by a race-based socialism? That the traditional Western nuclear family must be dismantled? That police must be abolished? That all jails and prisons must be shut down? That all drugs must be legalized? That the government must pay reparations to anyone who has previously been convicted of drug offenses? And that Black Lives Matter? Well, I agree with that last part, but that's not what I asked you, sir. This is a simple yes or no question, so you need to give a simple yes or no answer. Do you agree that capitalism must be annihilated and replaced by a race-based socialism, that the traditional Western nuclear family must be dismantled, that police must be abolished, that all jails and prisons must be shut down, that all drugs must be legalized, that the government must pay reparations to anyone who has previously been convicted of drug offenses, and that Black Lives Matter? Look, I can't give a yes or no answer to something like that. Yes, hello, I was just talking to one of your employees, and you're not going to believe this, but he doesn't agree with me that black lives matter. Whoa, that's not what I said. I gave him a simple yes or no question about whether black lives matter. And he wouldn't even answer yes to my simple question. It's not what happened. Oh, so he's going to be fired. That's a good start, but it's not good enough.
unless you want your company to be exposed as a haven for white supremacist indoctrination, you will immediately make a large donation to our organization. You'll invite our representatives to give a series of lectures to your employees about proper gender pronouns, and you will definitely begin paying reparations to all employees of color for the money you've made from their labor. No. No, we don't care about the stupid black squares you posted on Twitter. Now submit to our demands, or we're going to tell everyone that your company doesn't believe that black lives matter. Oh, are you still here? Look, racist for the camera. Perfect. And just met this white supremacist, probably the next Hitler, says that black lives don't matter one bit. Okay! I'll agree with everything you say, just stop destroying my life! <laughs> Too late, sir. You've been cancelled. I've been what? Cancelled. If I were you, I'd call your Nazi wife and those Hitler Jugend you call your kids because there's a mob heading to your house right this minute. <laughs> I feel so powerful right now. And that's how it's done. The reason I'm pointing this out is that every adherent of every insane political position in the world has been taking notes for the past several weeks. They now know that people are so utterly spineless that they'll agree to anything, no matter how absurd, no matter how sick and twisted, as long as it's attached to something that they can't deny. So we're going to be seeing more of this. We're going to be seeing Marxists and white supremacists and anarchists attaching their insane positions to ideas and feelings that have nothing to do with their insane positions in order to protect their insane positions from criticism. It's the Trojan Horse 2.0. How do you defeat it? One, learn all of the main tactics people are using to manipulate other people. Two, when you see someone using one of these tactics, call them out for it. Three, when you see someone falling for one of these tactics, show them how they're being manipulated. Most people don't like being manipulated, so if you show them that there are entire ideologies that rely primarily on manipulation, as a means of expansion, people will grow increasingly suspicious of these ideologies. And four, if you show someone that they're being manipulated and they don't seem to care, you know, like actors and actresses on Twitter, then mock them for their gullibility and cowardice. The cure for mass manipulation and indoctrination is an informed population of free people. So stay informed, stay free.